just finished. Here is, here's the hole. Final dimension, let me go back, is just under eight feet. It's like seven feet, nine inches. And this way here, it's five and a half feet. And it is six feet down. So you can kind of see that ladder there, kind of give you a sense of scale. So there it is there. There was that post I was telling you guys, the other video didn't show it too good. That's why there's a little cavity there. So next is to build some bracing around there so it stays so it doesn't collapse and backfill it in. This pile here I'll keep for that and this pile here will go outside so I'll go from this side so you can see it. So that's the last thing to do this here. Get all that out there. But at least the hole's dug. I'm tired. And I'll okay, talk guys. to you guys later. I told you I'd tell you how's I as I'm building it. Here's the frame on the two long sides, right here. Four by four in the corners. And I got four runners. I was gonna do five. Four is very, very sufficient. Now, I have it just above this for a reason. I wanted it up a few inches. Twofold. One, uh, nothing falls in. Two, that was a six foot board. I didn't have to cut it, so it worked out good. And then I'll do four this way too. So, and the tank will probably go on this side over here. Over here, in the corner, I'm gonna brace up these sides and make a built-in ladder. So, that's gonna be next. So now I just have to build the sides, slip the OSB down, and then do, do it on. Side ones are smaller, but take a little longer because I just can't put it down in its place. So. And these suckers were heavy <laughs> by myself. So I told you I'd say as I go, that's the way it is. So that's it. Uh, next one, you should see it when it's complete. Okay, finished with the frame. It's done. Let me back up so you can see it here. So you can see now, I built some steps in the corner and I braced them in between because these supports realistically don't hold much up and down because they're toenailed into the corners but they're strong this way what I want so to do that I supported that and had some scrap 2x4s building this so I made a little ladder so you can get in and out without putting a ladder down in there so now I just got to put plastic on the outside and then instead of dirt at the bottom you see here's that expanded shale I bought this to use instead of clay beads uh, let me get some so you can see it. But it's an eighth inch expanded shale. It's just too small. If, uh, if it would have been, uh, you know, half inch or three quarters, I could have. And I found a supply of that. Uh, it's about an hour and a half away, but I can get it wholesale. So I can go get a big trailer if I ever need some in the future. But I'll put that on the bottom to use it up. That way I'm not walking in mud or anything like that if there's any water. So I have that and there'll be drainage. And then that will go down here. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> but that's it, it's framed in. Now I don't have to worry about the dirt because I was getting worried because I went out of town for a convention and starting to crack dry out here. So I was just hoping it wouldn't fall in. <laughs> so clay holds pretty good. So I wasn't worried too much, but I just didn't wanna have to redig out because after digging all this by hand, I will say one thing. Never again. <laughs> I won't dig another one like this by hand. <laughs> I couldn't get any excavator in here because we're inside the greenhouse, but uh, if I ever have to do this again, I'm hiring somebody because <laughs> it, it was, boy. But I can say it's done and I did it now. So, and you can see the little gap right there that I'll fill up with some of this stuff and over here, same thing with over here, just to fill the gap up. But it's pretty solid, you shake it, it's, it's it's you know it's pretty beefy it ain't going anywhere so i have a good place for my sump and then being wood on the sides here when my drain pipes come all i got to do is put them put a drill hole right through and get back to it so 
to make it easy and everything, I made it out of wood. So that's it. That's the finished uh, area for the sump. Uh, you'll see it when I start building off later and everything like that. So hope you guys enjoy. Uh, oh, I forgot to say, I had a few questions in there about building this. Uh, go ahead and uh, some people said they want to ask me to go ahead and ask them for me because um, I'll answer everything I can. Uh, I got back to them, the people that asked the questions. So I've gotten quite a few. So I might just make a video podcast about, you know, questions and stuff like that. So that's it. I hope everybody has a great day.